KPM. Right, I've got mine. Adam's anga ewit. I have to double check his size. Anga, yeah. Anga, what size T-shirt are you wearing, Anga? Yes, it's on sale. Seventy percent, Anga. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Oops, I'm here all alone. What's your size? Um, okay. All right, I'll make sure I, I get the right size, yeah? I have so many other things to buy. Okay, catch up with you later, Anga. Okay, bye. Sejahtera, you're watching Dede TV KPM today with me, Shafika Farahin. And for this lesson, we are going to be learning Bahasa Inggeris for our slot, Menengah Rendah. And as you can see just now, we have our teacher right here in the studio who is none other than Madam Farah Liza. Hi. Hi, Assalamualaikum teacher. How are you? Assalamualaikum. Shafika, I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. How are you? I am doing great. And who's also doing great here is our sign language interpreter in the studio together with us is uh, teacher Muhammad Bukhari Cik Hassan from SK Pendidikan Khas Langor Shah Alam Selangor. Teacher, how are you? You're doing great. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Now, Madam Fariliza, yes. what is it an English class without our pupils, right? Definitely, Shafika. Mm -hmm. So, let's have them here on the screen with us. All right. Hello, everyone. Hi. All right, Madam Fariliza. Okay. Can we have them being introduced by you one by one, please? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have our girls and a boy here back in the screen. Okay. So, we have Shahida Samsuri. Hi, Hi Shahida. Shahida. Okay, what do you want me to address Hi, you, Shahida? Yeah, how do you Hi, want me to address Hi, you? Hi, Hi. Okay. You can you can call me Shida. Okay, Shida. Shida. That's a nice one. Okay, right, the great. next one we have No Shuhada Shafika. And No Shuhada, what do you want me to address you, Shuhada? Hi, madam. Hi, Ms. Shafika. You Hi. can call me Shu. Shu. Oh, All right. right. Shida Shu. Now, the next one in the house, we have Nor Farhana. Nor Farhana, how do you want me to address you, Nor Farhana? Hi, madam. Hi, Ms. Shafika. Hi. You can call me Nana. Nana. Okay, Nana in the Nana. house. And mm -hmm. last but not least, we have Muhammad Yusuf. Okay, Muhammad Yusuf, how do you want me to address you, Muhammad Yusuf? Hi, Ms. Hi, madam. Hi, Ms. Shafika. Okay. You can call me also. Uso, Uso. Wow, that's wow. a unique one. All right. We already have the nicknames here. Um, Shida, Shu, Nana and Uso. Yes, thanks for being with us here uh, today, pupils. Now, uh, Madam Fariliza, before we start our lesson mm -hmm. and introduce our topic for yes. today, perhaps you can explain just now you were out and about shopping and you had lots of stuff and you were calling your son and what was happening there? Okay, mm. Shafika, if you look at this topic that we're going to discuss today, mm -hmm. now it is actually on time to spare. Oh, so time to spare literally means what you always do during your leisure time. Oh. And of course, um, for me, I opt shopping. I agree, that's oh, for me too as well. better things can you do not without shopping? Yes. But of course, um, everyone has their own individual choices. Maybe mm -hmm. they opt um, reading, cooking, baking, taking classes. Right. But I opt shopping. Yes, it's more of a hobby, isn't it? Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, it can, you can also have your hobbies when you do um, spend your time during leisure time. Yes. Right. Okay, I mm. totally agree. Now, madam, before we move on as well, why don't we make it official and ring the bell? And we know class <laughs> is in session. Yes. All right. Madam Farisa, take mm -hmm. the floor. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shafika. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, everyone, girls and boys, viewers out there, we are going to do this textbook open up your textbook turn to page 103 and this is going to be on unit 8 time to spare that's what i said earlier activities that you do during your leisure time okay so now you're going to also do activities 
um, from this page 104 where we're going to focus on writing. Mm -hmm. All right. So I hope everyone out there, you have already started opening your textbook, huh? Okay. Now, our learning outcome for today, Shafika. All right. Firstly, it's definitely for our pupils back here mm -hmm. to be able to communicate intelligibly by listing down the ideas. And writing, inshallah, will never go wrong mm -hmm. without your colours. Ah. So you have to be right. um, familiar using the colours to generate your ideas later on. Mm -hmm. Okay, secondly is of course to make our pupils back here to be able to organise, to sequence and develop their ideas by elaborating them using a special technique mm -hmm. that we will be about to explore what very is that, soon. Madam? Hmm, mm -hmm. Wait and see. Okay. Fasten your seatbelts. All right. All right. Now, um, of course, if you ask me, Shafika, when mm -hmm. it comes to writing, there are five crucial elements that everybody needs to be aware of. Not only to you, but everyone out there. Now, if, when it comes to writing, definitely the first thing that you have to be aware of is the time frame. Mm -hmm. When you talk about time, of course, you have like time for you to draft and time for you to write. Now, this will definitely be two minutes for you to draft each paragraph and the rest of the time will be spent writing it. Now, the next one is to think of the main ideas. Some people, they can write Shafika, but they don't mm -hmm. have idea. Right. Some people, they can have ideas, but they don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. So all this will be like, um, they have to have um, awareness mm -hmm. to complete all these elements to be able to write a good piece of writing. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, they must have the main idea where we're going to use our dad, decide and drive where this will decide the main idea for each paragraph. Oh. Now, for the next part is how to elaborate ideas. Getting the main idea might sound easy, but to elaborate them, quite challenging. So how do we elaborate this, Shafika? We're going to use T triple E C mum. Wow. And what is that? Stay tuned and we will share you what it is later. Okay. Now, for the next part is definitely once they have the idea, they can generate the ideas, they have to construct the sentences. Now, when they are constructing the sentences, mm -hmm. Shafika, yeah. definitely they must have the spices in their writing. And what are they? The language expressions, the sentence connectors, as well as linking words. So all these ingredients will give you a signature dish of your own piece of writing. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Um, yum, yum, yummy. <laughs> okay, All right. so now let me just explain quickly, briefly on how mum works. Mm -hmm. So mum is for you to generate your ideas. So we have six colours. Now white is a true story. Now let me just give you a short example, a very simple one. I travel from SMK Bandamas Joho to share skills with you today. That is obviously white colour. The second colour is positivity. Pupils understand better and clearer on how to master writing. So that gives you a positive energy, benefits, advantages. Now the next colour will be black. Now black represents problems, challenges. And let me share you what was my challenge what when I it? came here. Uh -huh. oh, I travelled alone from Johor. Oh. I used to travel alone from Johor, but this time I have my children to accompany me. Oh, that's right. nice. So, okay. when you have black colour, now that is where the green colour comes in. Now, what does green colour represent, Shafika? Green represents mm -hmm. solving the problem mentioned by black or you give ideas. So, what was my black colour just now? I travelled alone. Yeah. So, what should be my green colour? So, my green colour will be a suggestion to solve my problem. And this is my sentence. I should have someone to accompany me. And I did that yesterday. Alright, so red colour will be for feelings and emotions. Mm -hmm. Now, example, I am blessed to be given this opportunity sharing the magic to all of you. And last but not least, blue will be my wish and my hope. Now, in your sentence for your conclusion, in each paragraph, does not require you to have that word wish. Because most of the students nowadays, Shafika, they will always love to write their last sentence, I wish, I hope, I wish, I hope. Right. So there is another way of doing it. So mm -hmm. look at my sentence. This will be the best turning point for my pupils in mastering writing. Ah. So doesn't that sound a More. conclusion and a wish yes. without having the word in it? Mm -hmm. So that is all about mum. Okay. So now we are going to give an example of a beginner with two colours. 
So let's say we have two colours here for the beginners out there. You decide, yeah? So you have to think of two ideas and with all these linking words and sentence connectors. Those are for beginners. Now, if you are an advanced student, you can actually have three colours instead of two. The same process, having linking words, sentence connectors or link, uh, sentence connectors or linking words in between to combine your ideas. Okay, so now let's go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this will be for the advanced learners. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let me just give you an example as this is about time to spare. Some students out there, teenagers, you love creating videos, don't you? <laughs> so this is an example of what you write with two colours for beginners. So first colour is white. It's my passion. Isn't that a true story? Yes, yes it's your passion. And my second colour, green, is an idea without black. Because green can stand on its own, Shafika, without mm -hmm. black. So when I use green, so this is my idea, should attend video making courses. So when I combine these two with either conjunction or linking words or sentence connectors, so this is what happens to my sentence. Look, I love creating video as it is my passion. So, I should attend more video making courses. So, this is how you construct your sentence, having two ideas with linking words in between. Alright? Okay, so that's about it for our first sharing yes. on how to construct sentence with two ideas. And thank you for that, Madam Faraliza. Yes. And many of you might know that Madam Faraliza's class uses colours to help you write English better. And exactly. I believe that is so. So stay focused and we'll be right back here on Did It TV KPM after this break. <laughs> <laughs> TV KPM Hi Peoples, welcome back to Didi TV KPM and today our slot is Meningah Renda. Now today we are learning English and we're focusing on writing skills and as our teacher here in the studio, Madam Fariliza, has mentioned, um, when you're writing, uh, mm -hmm. there's a lot of spices going on that you can use exactly. which are uh, language expression, uh, sentence connectors and also linking words. Exactly. But before we go to that, what's the basic, what's the first step that we need to do, Madam? All right, thank mm. you, Shafika. That was a very good question. Mm -hmm. So now, to answer Shafika's question, that brings us to the next segment. Okay, mm -hmm. now, girls and boys, viewers out there, our next segment will be focusing on how to grow the ideas. Mm. Because you already understand the question, mm -hmm. now we need to grow the ideas. Now, how do you do that? Definitely, when you read your question, you need to understand the situation or a topic. Now, I'm sure all teachers out there, you love giving situation in your classrooms to create a lively discussion. Right. And that also boosts up your the self-confidence among the students. Okay? Now, second part is you need to definitely do not forget to bring along your two colours. Well, of course, Shafika, they mm -hmm. can opt either two colours or three colours. That's oh. their choice. But it gets more um, Yes, it, it more sounds hard. much more promising. It ah. sounds more matured having three colours. Ah. But that will be a learning process. Okay. They will get to that later. Mm -hmm. Now, the last part is by combining them using linking words and to construct a sentence. So now, let me just give you an example of how you apply the colours again. So allow me to like refresh you back what the colours are. So let me start with the first colour. White, true story. Yellow, positivity or advantage or benefit or even profits. And black will be problems, challenges, difficulties, disadvantages. So these are the common words which are normally asked in a question. Wow. Exam question, definitely. Wow. Yes. Okay. Now, the next colour will be green. As I said, green has two functions. It's either to solve the problem mentioned by black by giving ideas to suggest how to solve the problem or to just stand on its own by giving their own ideas. 
Okay, the last one is red and definitely blue colour which concludes the whole paragraph. Okay, now let me just give them an example with your sentence connectors, linking words and cohesive devices. Now, Shafika, mm -hmm. um, having said that we are dealing with the Z generation, right? <laughs> everything is at your fingertips. Yes, And so when you easy. scroll down your um, whatever social media platforms, they can have so many amples of words and they will be quite overwhelming. Yes, so I agree. So this is the reason why I have classified into one table for you to just digest this. Just digest this first before you allow yourself to get more. Yeah, mm. because you will definitely get drowned. Okay? <laughs> Alright, now as you see on the slide, we have sentence connectors, so you can make a choice. You have linking words, so you can decide what kind of ideas that you want to share in your sentence. And you choose and make this as your reference every time you do your writing and also speaking. Mm -hmm. Alright, so cohesive devices. Because all these Shafika yeah. will be evaluated for them to get good marks for their organisation. Organization in their marking um, criteria, they have to have quite a lot of linking words, mm -hmm. sentence connectors, not to mention coisy devices. So I have already provided you with all this. Yes. You need to digest and apply it. Okay? I think those at home can also um, refresh back with that and take a picture perhaps. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. So now, let me just give you an example. My family vacation, that is what I do during my spare time. Mm -hmm. With my family, definitely. Priori priority. Oh, fun. Okay, so I'm going to have like three colours because I can just... Uh, this caters to the advanced learners out there. So my first colour, white, treasure my family. It's a true story. Everyone treasures their family. The second colour is yellow, keeps us emotionally closer to each other. Don't you agree, Shafika, when you go out for your family vacation? Mm -hmm. It keeps you guys emotionally closer to each other. Uh, yes, because Definitely. you face challenges outside together. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the last colour would also be yellow, mm -hmm. have started saving. Of course, when you people plan to go somewhere, you need to start somewhere too. With started, you have to start saving your money. Yes. All right. Okay. So this is my sentence. I have started saving for my next family vacation as I treasure my family, and this keeps us emotionally closer to each other. Shafika, can mm -hmm. you see the difference um, between this sentence and the earlier one, which yes. I only had two colors? Yes. You used. Three colours this time. And look at how the length is and it sounds much, much promising. It does. Yes. It does. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, this is your first VA, that is your first colour. The second VA, that is your second colour. And the third VA, that is your third colour. Alright? Now, this is the challenge that we are going to have among our friends behind here where they are going to share their sentences when they are given a situation. The same situation mm -hmm. that is going for a family vacation. Alright? So now, girls and boys, if you're ready, mm -hmm. show me double thumbs up! Alright! Okay, <laughs> good! Look super ready! Give me a big smile! Give me a big smile! Yes! All right, so now what they are supposed to do is we are going to make them like voluntarily uh, give us the VAs mm -hmm. and I have here will be the cuts for me to paste so that viewers out there can get a clearer picture on how this works, mm -hmm. okay? Now, who wants to give it a try to share me your first sentence with your two colours? Anyone? Anyone in the Anyone house? Anyone who would like to volunteer raise your hand? Can I try, madam? Okay, who's that? Oh, Nana in the house. Okay, okay Nana. So, what are your two colours, Nana? My two colours are yellow and red. Okay, so what's the first one? Yellow okay. and oh, red. Oh, yellow and red. Okay, mm. Nana, let me ask you one question. What does yellow colour represent? Just to see whether she was focused just now. Okay. Nana, what does yellow colour represent, Nana? Yellow represents positivity or mm. benefit. Good job. How about red? Red represents feeling. Spot on. Okay, bring it on. What are your colours? And I'll write it down. Okay. My sentence is, I spent time with my family and I was grateful doing fun family activities such as jet skiing, snorkeling and scuba diving. Okay, Nana, that was your sentence. Now, can you tell me how did you get your sentence? Give me that two colours and your two VAs. What was your first VA, Nana? 
My first VA uh, is yellow. Okay, what was the VA? My VA are spend time together with my family. Okay, spend time. Okay, now what is your second VA? My second VA is was grateful doing fun family activities. Was grateful. Okay, Shafika. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just showing the students how their mind works when they have these two colours. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Nana said that she used yellow colour. So, they will, this will be one VA. Okay. And the next VA will be was grateful. So, when you do your draft, it doesn't have to be too long because you don't have much time to draft your paragraph. Mm -hmm. So having said that, this was how Nana got her sentence. Good job, Nana. So she used spend time together mm -hmm. with her family and was grateful. So when right. she combined the two VAs, that was what she did just now. Good job, Nana. Good job, Nana. How many okay. stars for her, perhaps? Um, or marks? Five and a half. Five and a half. Wow. <laughs> okay. No. Now, mm -hmm. can I have the next person to share me your sentence with your two colours? All right. Over Who's to you. Next? Can I? Can I share, madam? Who's that? That we sounds like Shida. Shida. Isn't that Shida. Oh yes, that's Shida. Okay, Shida. All right. Give me your two colours, Shida. So my two colours are white and yellow. Ah, okay, mm. yellow done by Nana. Now, what does white colour represent, Shida? White represents true story, mm -hmm. statement or fact. Agree. All now, right. give me your two colours and your VAs, Shida. So, my first colour is white mm -hmm. and my VA are, and my VA are, is too far. Is too far. Okay. Now, what's your next colour, Shida? The next colour is Yellow. Okay. And my VA are had a lovely time there. Had a lovely time there. Okay. All right. So, mm -hmm. can you share us your sentence, Shida? All right. Let's hear my it. My sentence is, I Papa and Waterfall is too far, but we had a lovely time there. Okay, so you had this is too far mm -hmm. and lovely time will be yellow. Very good. Okay, so now, okay, good job, Shida. Mm -hmm. All right, now can I have the next person to share me your sentence with two colors? Okay. Anyone? Can I try, madam? Okay, right. that That's sounds like shoe. shoe. Is that shoe? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, shoe. Okay, shoe. Give me your colors, shoe. My two colours are black and green. Oh, okay. These are new colour choices. Yeah. So, Shu, what does black colour represent, Shu? Black represents problem. Good. Problems. How about green, Shu? Green represents to solve problem or give idea. Spot on. Okay. Now, give it to me. Give me your colours. My first colours is black mm -hmm. and my bay are was crowded. Was. Okay, was crowded. Okay, cool. Now, what's your next VA? Green. My second colour, green, and my VA are my wash movie instead. So, my wash movie. Mm -hmm. Just and take the simple one and the rest of the words will be written when you write in your paragraph. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is black, right. was crowded. Right. Which represents a problem. Yep. And this will be green. Now, always remember, girls, boys, viewers out there, when you have green, model verb is compulsory. So, this is an example of a model verb, might. Okay? Mm. So, this is to solve the problem faced by Shu. Yeah. It was crowded and they might watch movie instead. Good job, Shu. Oh, so, now nice. we have only the thorn among the roses, uh -huh. our Mr. Yusuf in the house. Over okay. to you, Yusuf. Give me your, your two colours, Yusuf. Mm -hmm. My two colours are green and yellow. Okay, green and yellow. Alright, bring green it on. What yellow. are your VAs, Yusuf? My VA uh, will go Desaruko. Will go Desarukos. Ah. Have you been there, Shafika? Yes, it's very interesting. Near my uh, hometown. Yes, exactly. All now, right. what's the next one? Meeting my old friend. Okay, meeting. Okay, meeting my old friends. Okay, now mm -hmm. give me your sentence, Yusuf. 
my sentence is I will go to the Sarukos as well as meeting my old friend at the cafe. Yes. So Yusuf will go to the Sarukos as well as meeting my old friend. So this, what color was this just now, Yusuf? One. This one. This is green and another one. So, yellow. It was yellow. yellow. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I missed that part. Okay, so girls and boys, viewers out there, can you see how this process works when you have two colors mm -hmm. and you combine them using linking words? And if you notice just now, our friends back here, they did use some of the linking words as well as scenes, but as for conjunction and you have many more in the list, alright? Mm -hmm. So that was how we construct sentences, Shafika. Right, I'm pretty sure our three pupils, because uh, Nana has already her stars, uh, want their stars as well. Uh -huh. So perhaps a little reward for them? Of course, yeah. I think this will be the best. Mm -hmm. Let's cheer people. G double O D J O B. Good, good, job. Job. Good, good, job. Job. good job, good job, good job, good job. I think that is even priceless, more than millions of rewards. Ah, uh, that's <laughs> great, I believe so. And um, for now, we're going for a short break first, uh, mm -hmm. but we'll be right back here on Didit TV, KPM. TV KPM Okay everyone, come back to class now. Class is in session with Madam Farah Liza today and today we are learning Bahasa Inggris. Right now for this segment Madam, mm -hmm. I, I believe we are learning about um, growing or perhaps when uh, you're talking about growth, you need food, you need healthy, uh, good health and also experience to grow um, mind-wise. Yes. But uh, what, does, what has that to do with today's uh, class? Perhaps you can explain. Yes, mm -hmm. talking about growth growing process. Mm -hmm. Now, everyone can write, everyone has idea, mm -hmm. but it's a challenge for them to grow and to have a well-linked sentences. Mm. Now, this has brought us to our next segment mm -hmm. where our pupils back here, they will take this challenge, dare to write. Ah. Now, earlier, we only asked them simple situation with only two colours and just read out their sentences but this time they have to show us the process i will also be showing you guys the process mm -hmm. and we'll see how the end product gives mm. you a good piece of quality paragraph okay, okay. so shafika right. so our next segment we are going to focus on our exam question so you can always refer to your textbook page 104 mm -hmm. all right so we're going to have a question and we need to identify these two crucial elements and what are they situation and task now students if you are able to identify your situation and task you will never go wrong and five marks for content is definitely yours wow. okay now the next one is we are going to write a postcard that is a short message now, postcard only needs you to write one paragraph, not more than that. But some students, Shafika, mm -hmm. they claim, Madam, uh, should I only write 80 words? Okay, now this goes to everyone out there. Mm -hmm. If you really look at it, Shafika, right. writing only 80 words, mm -hmm. It takes only three sentences. Mm -hmm. If for the advanced learner, you expect them to only write 80 words, how can you possibly give them 20 out of 20 no with only way. three sentences with precisely 80 words? So this is my advice to all. You can definitely write till the last line in the box provided. Mm. After all, this is writing, but it's okay to write until the last line. Read my lips. Write until the last line. Wow. Okay? Okay. Now, the next one is definitely our pupils back here, they will construct five different sentences. We'll see how they uh, show us their sentences later. And you guys, viewers out there, can just screenshot and rewrite them later. Mm -hmm. And you can see your paragraph 
And Shafika, mm -hmm. this is a reminder to all Why to be it? able to know the standard length of a paragraph. C. C. Now, if you do this, C, normal C, you put that on a piece of paper. Nah, that will be a standard length of a paragraph. Ah. Hmm. Yes, this C, wow. not this C. This C. Okay. All right. So all these five sentences with your VAs and with your colours that will bring you to the standard length of each paragraph. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to learn the triple E T triple E C process, Shafika. Yeah. So girls and boys, fasten your seatbelt, and this quite will be quite challenging. Mm -hmm. Now we have T triple E C. Now this is the growing process. You have all the ingredients, but we need to grow it. So how do we do that? First, T stands for topic sentence. Topic sentence, Shafika, will always be the beginning of your paragraph. Okay. The first sentence. Now, topic sentence will be using our VA1. Now, the next sentence will be example to elaborate about your topic sentence. Mm -hmm. Now, that will be your VA2. And how do you do example? You need to use either how or why or what. Shafika, why do we only choose these three questions? Not who, not what, uh, sorry, not who, not uh, when, uh, mm -hmm. why? Why only these three questions? Because these are the three um, growing questions that can generate your ideas, mm -hmm. okay? Now, the next E will be example analysis, all right? Example analysis, the growing process, will be still using the same three questions, how, why, or what. Mm -hmm. The next sentence will be evidence now this evidence is also taken from the three questions whether it's why how or what the last sentence in your paragraph shafika mm -hmm. will definitely be a c that is conclusion now this helps students out there to conclude your paragraph and you will not be able to drag the same idea in the next paragraph right all right mm -hmm. so having said that when you look at the screen now this gives you five sentences madam i want to write more Wait, guys. Wait until you can write five, then you can push yourself to write more, mm -hmm. okay? Now, this is an example. Now, for conclusion, Shafika, it's mm -hmm. a little bit um, tricky where they need to close what they have started. And that comes from C1, all right? If you look at the screen, so if C1, why must they refer to C1? Because that was how they started their sentence. So they need to conclude it. Mm -hmm. All right, so I will share you very quickly, briefly, by looking at the slides. Are you guys ready? Ready. All right, if you're ready, show me double thumbs up. Okay, so let me just go briefly on this LE. Mm -hmm. This will be the list. You can just look at the list later. All right, so this will be your spices in your uh, paragraph. All right, and this will be your cohesive devices. You need to have this for your organization marks, people. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, the next one will be the practice now i'm going to give you a very simple example my hobby so this is your bubble and the question in the bubble is going to be why do i love shopping now shafika yes. when i have all this this is just to produce generations who can draft your essay mm -hmm. because we can hardly have one some of the students most of the students claim i don't draft madam i just write spontaneously wow, wow. wow. you're amazing mm -hmm. because when you do that halfway you'll get stuck because you might be a, you might produce a monotonous writing yes out of ideas yes exactly mm -hmm. so the first question why do i love shopping so this is the answer guys now that stands for questioning why do i love shopping mm -hmm. now this is the answer mom which is your colors will be the answers to all the questions, Shafika. Mm -hmm. Now, look at the screen, guys. You have one question, but you will be having three answers. Shafika, why three, Shafika? Why not one? I guess because it gives more um, choices. More opportunities for you to grow. Ah. All right, after all, we are going to aim getting that C length. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at the screen, guys. Why do I love shopping? First answer will be my C1. Mm -hmm. It's a source of joy that brings happiness to you. Color one, red color. Now, what is the second color to the same question? But second color, Shafika, must always forever be green. Right. Yeah. So what is green? You must have model verb, remember? Mm -hmm. So why do I love shopping? So this is my answer. Can keep me less frustrated. Mm. So this is the third answer 
to the same question. Don't get confused, people. One question having three colors okay. as your answers. So what is the next color? Yellow. What is it? It's the best gift. So having said that, we have all these three colors mm -hmm. and we are about to grow them to write our second sentence. Now, Shafika, T stands for topic sentence. Right. Okay, now let me show you how your topic sentence is written. Are you guys ready? Look at the next screen. Okay, now this is your first sentence. I go shopping with my family as it is a source of joy to me and I can keep myself less frustrated. So that is how you write your first sentence by combining all the three colours with your linking word. Okay? okay, now that is your VA1 and why do I write plus VA there, Shafika? Mm -hmm. Because we need to have two VAs in one sentence. Okay, let me be a little bit quick here. Mm -hmm. So this will be your E1, that is your example. So, E1 will grow C1. See that after me, Shafika. E1 grows C1. C1. So if you want to write E1, mm -hmm. you look at C1. So what is the question? I'm going to use either why, what or how. Mm -hmm. So this is the question. Why is it a source of joy, Shafika? Why? Why is it a source of joy? Okay. So this is the answer. Makes my day. Mm -hmm. So that has answered your C1. And you already got your second sentence to that. So, this is uh, it. So that was the plus VA. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So this is the sentence for your first example. Yeah, I am over the moon every time I go shopping. Why do I not use it's a source of joy, Shafika? Uh, because uh, they, it's a occasional thing, yeah. frequent thing. And, mm -hmm. Very good. And it has already been mentioned in the first sentence. So mm -hmm. there is no repetition. Yeah. So you need to write a synonym or similar meaning with happiness. Mm -hmm. So I go with idiom. I am over the moon every time I go shopping as it makes my day since I enjoy each other's company. Having friends with me. Mm -hmm. So that's how I get my sentence from my E1. Okay, now let us try and get our friends here mm -hmm. to share us their um, sentences. Yep. All right. Just by sharing you the technique that I did just now. But always remember E1 grows C1, mm -hmm. E2 grow C2. Oh, okay. E3, grow C3. So that's the reason why I number them up so that it's easier for the students to understand. Okay. All right? So I'm just going to go a little bit quick so that my friends back here, our friends back here, get to share via sentences and ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. Okay. Now, can I have one person from our friends back here to read out the question, page 104? Anyone? Okay. Can you raise your hand up, please? Can I try, madam? Okay, Yusuf. Can you please read the question, Yusuf? You are on holiday with your family. Write a postcard to your friend Joe in America. You, your card, you should tell Joe about your holiday. Say what you are going to do tomorrow. Ask Joe about his holiday. Very good. Thank mm -hmm. you, Yusuf. Now, having said that, girls and boys, when you read the question, definitely you have to look for the two elements which are situation and task. Now, who wants to make a guess? What is the situation from this question? Anyone? What's the situation? Can I answer, madam? Okay, Nana. What's the situation, Nana? The situation is holiday with your family. Good job. So, that is the situation. Now, what's next? Your task. Now, who wants to make a guess? What is your task? And how many tasks do you have in this question? Anyone? Can I answer, madam? Okay, Shida. Over to you. We have two tasks. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, what is it? The first task is tell Joe about your holiday. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The second one, say what you are going to do tomorrow. All right. And lastly, ask Joe about his holiday. Yes, you have three tasks there. And look at the screen, guys. You need to rephrase mm -hmm. from your family to my family when you write your sentences. Don't forget that because some of the students, Shafika, mm -hmm. they forget to rephrase. Change, yes. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you need to rephrase that, okay? okay? So we have three tasks here. Uh, madam, does this mean that we must have three paragraphs? No. You need to combine all of them together and grow the process using T Triple E C. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, let us begin. Now, who wants to make a guess on what is the best 
question that we should write in the bubble. Okay, D A D. Who is it? Can I answer, madam? Okay, yes. So. Okay. So, what is the best question that you wish to write in the bubble for your main idea? What I go for the day with my family. Okay. So the question is, why? Why? Why do I go for a holiday? Just a simple one. As long as you have the situation there. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So now we have come to the three answers. So who wants to start giving me your first answer? Who can that be? Okay. Who is it? Who would like to try? Again. Okay, you so again. Now what's the first answer for your only one I question? New place. Sorry, can you repeat? Travel new places. Okay, travel new places. Okay, travel new places. All right, what color is this, you saw? It's yellow. Okay, yellow. Because you get benefit when you travel mm -hmm. new places, right? Now, second colour. Anyone wants to give it a shot? Can I give it a try, madam? Okay, Shida. Now, definitely, C2 has to be green colour. It's green. a must green. Okay. So, VA can take photos together. Okay, can take photos. Okay, good. All right, now how about the third colour? Good job, Shida. Anyone wants to give uh, the third answer for the one question? The same question. Can I try, Madam? Okay, Shu, what's your answer? My answer are create memories. My answer is create memories. What colour is that, Shu? Yellow. Yellow, all right. Mm -hmm. So this is yellow, create memories. Okay, now Shafika. All right. Looking at these three colours, mm -hmm. this is where we're going to start growing them. Alright? Now, to have example, mm -hmm. E1 grows C1. Okay. So, who wants to grow your C1? Anyone? This is uh, the tougher down? part, right? Yes. Okay. Who was that? that? Okay, mm -hmm. Nana. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nana. Now, what's your question? Why, what or how, Nana? I want to choose why. Okay, now, girls and boys, look at my finger. So, why? Why must you travel new places? Why? So, what's your answer, Nana? My answer is learn new culture. Learn new culture. New culture. Mm -hmm. So, you will never get this answer if you do not grow C1. Got okay. it? Okay, the next one. Good job, Nana. E2, who wants to grow and write E2. Come on, guys. Who can that be? Can I answer, madam? Yes, Shida. So, what's your choice? Why, what or how? I choose why. Okay. So, guys, look at my finger again. So, why? Why can we take photos? Why? Why must we take photos? What's your answer, Shida? My answer is treasure the moment. Good. Treasure. Mm -hmm. The moment. Okay, my, my handwriting is getting... <laughs> it's okay, it's understandable. Okay, so, <laughs> this is how you got your answer by growing C2. Now, the last E3, who can that be? Anyone? Can I answer, madam? Okay, so, what's your choice? Why, what or how, so? I choose why. Okay, why? So, guys, look at my finger. So, why... Why create memories? Why? So, what's your answer to that, Yusuf? Appreciate each other. Okay, appreciate each other. Good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when they do this draft, Shafika, mm -hmm. they will never be out of track. Yeah. We have come to the last one. This is quite challenging. Look here, guys. So, who wants to conclude your paragraph? Who wants to try? Over to you. Okay, who can like I to take challenge? Okay, sure. Now, how do you close this? All right, before she does that, look at my finger. So, if I travel new places when I go for a holiday, what's next? I repeat. Enjoy the view. Good job. Enjoy the view. You will definitely enjoy the view to wherever you are on that day. All right? Now, having said that, Shafika, mm -hmm. when they've already drafted this, they need to start writing. So always remember, this T will just combine all these three and that makes into one sentence. Easy job. 
but for your E1, E2, E3 and C, they need to add on spontaneously one more. They need to add one more. You need to add one more. Why, Shafika? Because Why? in one sentence, they must have two, two VAs. Yes. So now, can I ask one of you to show me one example of how you construct your sentence, topic sentence, anyone? Can I just make a... Can I choose Shida then? Shida, can you tell me how you combine all these C's into one topic sentence, Shida? Mm -hmm. sure, sure, madam. Okay. So my sentence is, the fact is that I go for a holiday with my family because I can travel to new places besides taking photos as well as creating memories. Can you see how she combined all this and make that into one sentence? Yes, brilliant. Okay, now let's mm -hmm. go to the next sentence. Anyone wants to give it a shot? Can I give you a shot, Madam? Okay, Nana. Now, Nana, have you written the sentence? Can you show me your mini whiteboard so that everyone sees your sentence? Okay, now read my, it out. My sentence says, Furthermore, I can learn new culture and make new friends. Good job. So, did you notice? Nana added, make new friends. Yes, she did. Good job, Nana. She's growing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, how about E2? Anyone? Anyone wants to give it a shot? Can I answer, madam? Yes, Shida. Show me your screen. Let me see. Where's your mini whiteboard there? Okay. Now, read it out to us. As I see it, when I go snorkeling tomorrow, mm -hmm. I can take photos to treasure the moment Decide, enjoy each other's company. Good job, Shida. So, Shida used treasure the moment, enjoy each other's company. And did you notice, Shafika, yes. that Shida already fulfilled task number two? She did. She wanted to, she planned to go snorkeling tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Good job, Shida. Good so, job. can you see how you combine everything? And indirectly, this has completed your task number two. Wow. All right. All right. So, um, Shafika, all mm. this will be fulfilled filling your task number one. So this will be task number one. Yes. What do you do when you go for a holiday? So this is task number one, fulfilled. Now let us go to the next one. Come on guys, E3, give it to me. Who wants to give it a shot? Okay, who wants to take this challenge? Can I try, madam? Okay, you okay, so, so over to you. Show me your screen. What VA mm -hmm. did you add? I add, besides that, when I go shopping later, I will create memories because I appreciate each other and it is the best gift for me and my family. Okay, so Usop added is the best gift for me and my family and she, he also added going shopping tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So this has also added in and fulfilled your task number two. There, he, there you go guys. Now let All us right. go to the last one, the okay. conclusion, Javika. Yes, the now hard who wants part. to wrap up everything? Yes, very quickly for Give this one. Give it a one. shot. Come mm -hmm. on, guys. Can I try, madam? Okay, sure. My sentence is in my view. I like your writing. If I travel to new place, okay. I enter the view and feel grateful. How about you, Joe? Tell me about your holiday. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hold on there. In my view, if I travel, can you see how she linked with the C1? If I travel new places, I enjoy the view and she added in, feel grateful. And, I, and she also asked, how about you, Joe? Tell me about your holiday. Now that, Shafika, mm -hmm. has fulfilled task number Three. Three. Wow. So girls and boys, having said that, when you saw your friends uh, wrote all the five sentences, mm -hmm. when you combine them, that gives you a C length wow. of one quality paragraph. I'm learning new things in this segment. Now, um, uh, very quickly for their marks, what do they get for uh, going up for this challenge? Mm -hmm. Okay, now this goes to all of you four back there. You did well, amazing, superb, and you guys rock! Yay! Good job, everybody. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Good job. Take there. Okay, we're going for a short break now, and we'll be right back here on Diddy TV KVM. Bye. See you.
Dedek TV KPM The bell has rung and you heard it right. We're back in class for Didi TV KPM. Our slot is Meningan Rendah. Now, we've uh, learned uh, Bahasa Inggeris uh, for the past uh, few times, but for this segment, we are going to learn more. And before we start, before Madam Farajiza starts, uh, perhaps when we write sentences, I believe there are spices to help make the whole sentence delicious. And what is that, Madam? Well, Shafika, mm -hmm. the spices will definitely be the colours. Mm -hmm. The growing process, mm -hmm. that is your T, triple E, C. And of course, not to forget your linking words, sentence connectors and cohesive devices. Ah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, madam. All right. Now, we have come to the next segment. Mm -hmm. And for this segment, we are going to ask our friends back here to just choose the best linking words. Because after all, linking word is one of the ingredients that I just mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, can I have anyone in the house to just answer me the first question, choosing the best linking word. Now, if they are able to choose the answer correctly, now this has undoubtedly shown that they are ready to apply it in their sentences. Right. Okay, anyone, anyone wants to give it a shot, try. Okay, who's first? Can I answer, madam? Okay, so, first question. All right. My answer is as well as. As well as. Okay. Can you please read out your sentence? I've got three sisters as well as a brother. All right, guys. First linking word in the list. As well as. Jot it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the second one. Anyone in the house? Can I try, Madam? Yes, okay. Shu. Over sure. to you, Shu. My answer is because. Because. Okay, read it out, Shu. We are making a cake because it's my best friend's birthday. All right, jot down, guys. Mm -hmm. Because is another example of a conjunction. You can have it right, written in your paragraph. All right. All right. Now, the third one. Anyone? Can I try them? Shida. Okay, over to you, Shida. So, my answer is for example. For example, okay. My sentence is, tell me more about your family. For example, where does everyone live? Good job, Shida. Mm -hmm. Take note, guys. Add in the list. For example, that is also a cohesive device to show giving examples. For instance, such as, like, and etc. Now, the last one. Let us try the last one, anyone? Okay. Can I answer, Mido? Yes. Over to you, Nana. My answer is since. Since. Okay, read it out. My sentence is, I'm going to art college since painting and sculpture are my favourite pastimes. Okay, girls and boys, viewers out there, we have the first one as well as because, for example, and since. Since is also a very good conjunction. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, having said that, we are going to ask our friends here to share their learning points. Okay? All right. Now, girls and boys, what have you learned? today throughout all our segments. Anyone? Can I share, madam? Okay, over to you. Okay. I have learned that the colours help me to make sentence. The colours helped you to make sentence. Agree. I couldn't agree more with you. Now, who wants to share your learning points of what we have done today? Anyone? Can I share, madam? Yes. Who is that? Shida? Shu? Shu. Uh, no, it's Nana. Shida. Nana, Nana. Nana in the house. Okay, <laughs> Nana. Can I hear you? Okay. I have learned how to get my VAs for my two colours. You have learned how to get your VAs for your two colours. V is for verb, A is for agreement. Remember that. Okay, mm -hmm. now who wants to share your next learning point? Uh, anyone? All right, the last pupil. Can I share mine? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can I share mine? Yes, Shida. Very quickly. Okay, today, madam. I've discovered how to grow my sentence. E1 grows C1. Good. E2 grows C2. Good. And E3 grows C2. Good, Shida! E1 Good grows job. C1, E2 grows C2, and E3 grows C3. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I think having said yes. that, um, anyone else Imagine. wants to share your learning points very quickly? Very quickly? Okay. Okay, very anyone? quickly. I want ah. to share. Okay, okay, you so quickly share me your learning points. I have learned how to add my second VA spontaneously. 
Yes, you have also learned how to add in your second VA spontaneously. All right, right Shafika. Now that we've heard answers from our pupils just now, perhaps you can share an overall evaluation of their effort today. All right, mm -hmm. my overall evaluation for them was they did very well and they put effort to struggle thinking of the ideas. They were amazing. And of course, they will have more rooms of improvements in future. Right. Good job, people. Let's cheer. Good job. Good, Good job. job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right, talking about room for improvement for people at home who's learning today and learning a lot, I believe. Where can they get extra materials to do their revisions? Definitely. You guys can go to Portal de Lima. Right. Okay? Okay, there you have it. We have Madam Farisa today for English class. Thank you, Madam, for being with us and sharing a lot of tips today. I hope you all get enough uh, to learn at and practice at home. Those are very valuable lessons. All right, thank you as well to our sign language interpreter, uh, Cikgu Bukhari. And also to those watching, we're going to share a bit of a, uh, uh, maybe a performance before we go. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera. Bye-bye. Come, let me sing. I see you and I last move and make it shine. Take my words, my dear, you'll pull it off just fine. Go! I know you blood and down while I was passing by. And now I ask you to turn and fly high one more time. Shafika, you'll never, never see how I will switch.